All right. So another important update from the Appium community is the launch of Java client version 3.2, 3.2.0, right? So uh, what is there in this uh, release version? They have clearly mentioned all the things over here. The major, one of the major uh, change is that now we got the ability to uh, start and stop the APM server from the Java client itself uh, using the Java code uh, programmatically, right? Now there are uh, some prerequisites that uh, you need uh, in case you migrate to this version. Although uh, the existing code uh, that you were using in 3.1 uh, will gonna work absolutely fine, right? But if you are planning to start uh, the Appium server to the uh, code itself, then uh, in addition, uh, you need to add a new dependency that is a new jar file for commons validator, right? This you can uh, get it from uh, the Maven centralized repository itself. So this is uh, the commons validator jar and the current version is 1.4.1, right? This is uh, the additional uh, jar that you would be needing along with uh, the, the Selenium uh, 2.47.1 jar and the uh, Java client jar, right? So Java client jar can be uh, downloaded from Appium website. The same with uh, if you have added uh, the jars uh, earlier in your uh, initial projects for Appium. Uh, so I'll uh, really quickly gonna show you uh, the execution uh, through the server, uh, how it's actually gonna work. So uh, this is uh, one of the program uh, that I've written for swiping the contacts on the Android device. Now, additionally, uh, what you need, uh, this is the code that uh, you would be needing this is uh, additional class that's been added in this API uh, for the API documentation you can uh, refer this API documentation over here right this is one of the APM service builder class and you'll find a couple of methods over here I'll be talking about uh, these methods uh, like uh, later on first I'm gonna show you some code and uh, the execution uh, how we can actually uh, uh, use this functionality and without starting the Appium server through the Appium app, uh, the GUI tool or uh, from Node, uh, like using command prompt, uh, we can directly start it from the Java code itself, right? So uh, what we're gonna do, uh, this is uh, Appium driver local service class. So we're gonna uh, use this class and a uh, couple of uh, methods that we need to call is, uh, one is uh, we need to build the service using uh, these arguments the arguments as in uh, there's a class apm service builder i just talked about right we need to provide uh, the driver executable that is uh, our node uh, js file the node exe file right so uh, another thing you need to have node js installed on your machine then only this will uh, gonna work so make sure you have node js installed and then uh, you need to uh, provide the path of the apm js file right that is uh, once you install the apm on your machine you're gonna find that file in the bin directory uh, so i have on the machine that is uh, i have installed it over here apm then node modules apm bin and this is my apm js file so this is the location that i've given over here and then additionally you can uh, give the location of the text uh, for the log files uh, any uh, text file where you want to generate the Appium logs. The next thing uh, is you need to call a method uh, that is a start method that is inside uh, this class service.start. So it will actually going to start the Appium server, right? And at the end, once you are done with the execution, uh, you need to call another method that is service.stop. So this is the only thing uh, that you would be needing uh, when you are uh, starting your Appium server programmatically, right? So uh, let me uh, see, I don't have any server, external server running over here. So what I'll do, I'll just execute this code and this is my uh, device. So you're gonna see the execution on this device. Uh, so I'll just run this and what this code will gonna do, it will gonna swipe on the contacts. It will open up the contacts and will uh, search for a particular contact. If you see at the back end, uh, the logs are being generated in the console and see uh, contacts just got open so it will swipe and <clears throat> will search for uh, a particular contact with the name Akash and then it will gonna click on that contact see and then it quit 
so this is how uh, like and if you take a look at this location I've generated a logs over here so I'll just uh, open this up and see all the logs are being printed so let me show it to you from here I'll just open it notepad so these are the logs that just got generated right for each and every event that this, these are the same logs that you uh, generally see when you run uh, Appium through your GUI tool or uh, through the command prompt all right so once again uh, you would be needing uh, these three jar files these are the pre-requests uh, one is your uh, selenium standalone uh, jar file right the second one is the Java client and the third one is the common validator right so these are the jars that you would be needing and uh, then in addition you need to have node.js installed on your machine all right thank you